Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I am wearing my sleep mask and my nighty, it is because we are getting ready for bed on today's video. I am going to talk about the three sleep pillow mists in my collection today. I'm going to talk about if I think they are necessary, if I think they're a gimmick, if you want to hear my thoughts on pillow mists and the ones in my collection, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start with my least favourite pillow mist in my collection, but I know it is a lot of people's favourite. The fragrance obviously just isn't for me. It is the Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Sleep Mist. Now it says prepare for your best night's sleep with our sleep support blend for use on skin and linens. I didn't realise you could use this one on skin as well. That's fantastic. This highly efficacious combination of hand blended 100% natural essential oils includes vetiver, chamomile and sandalwood. We are advised to spray liberally onto the skin, nightwear and bed linen. Simply inhale deeply and drift into restful sleep for optimum results. Bathe before going to bed with the deep relax bath and shower oil to calm the body and mind for the best possible rest. So it's great that you can spray this on the skin as well and get the benefits of those essential oils. However, it's quite a small bottle. There is 50 mils in here and this is 28 pounds. So I'm not sure how liberally on my body I would be spraying it even if I did love it because you're gonna get through it a lot faster than if you're just doing a couple of mists on your pillow. However, it is nice that you have the option to do that. The reason that I don't like this is I just don't like the fragrance. It's as simple as that. I am obsessed with the light relax bath oil from the brand. Absolutely obsessed. Sadly, they don't make a mist of this. Now this one has got lavender, ylang ylang and petit grain, my ultimate bath oil. So I thought if I love the light relax, there's no question I'm gonna love the deep relax and ordered this blind. Now to me, I'm not even gonna spray this. That's how much I dislike it. And I do not want my pillows um, smelling like that. To me, it smells Old fashioned. I can't, I can't, oh. Yeah. Um, a picture paints a thousand words. This fragrance is just not for me. However, I know that it is some people's ultimate fragrance. So I know I won't be short on Willing Homes for this one. So if you do love the deep relaxed bath oil, it has a cult status. You'll probably love the deep relax sleep mist. It has vetiver, chamomile, sandalwood to help you shrug off the daily fatigue if you don't have my nostrils. If you like me, it would probably irritate you. It also advises you on the website to apply a layer of the Relax Oil before bed, before using this spray. Can you imagine having the ritual of the bath oil, the body oil, and then the pillow spray? If you did love that scent, you'd just be in absolute pampering heaven. The Relax Body Oil, I must say, I do like. I think the Relax body oil is a happy medium between the light relax and the deep relax scents. This scent I like. It's chamomile, vetiver and ylang ylang. This fragrance is passable for me. Not like this one. However, I am in the minority because it has a 4.6 star rating from 74 reviews on the website. People say that it's amazing. People love it. So it's obviously just doesn't agree with my nostrils, but if you like the deep relax scent, you will probably love this pillow mist. 28 pounds for 50 mils, it's an indulgence, but if you wanna treat yourself or someone else, then you can't go wrong with this. It is an almost universally popular fragrance. I'm just a bit different. <laughs> so it's an indulgence, 
but the quality of this brand i love all the other products i've tried from them it's really really high quality aromatherapy oils in here and a lovely indulgent treat next up i have the amly beauty sleep spray i just have a little 30 ml bottle of this and it is second in my list not because i don't like it this one is also for use on the skin so it's actually called a silver rich face mist we are advised to shake well close your eyes and spray liberally onto the face neck and pillow for maximum effect they advise you to apply before their sleep tight face balm so this one the, the smell again oh gosh it does it's just so relaxing it will make and um, yeah makes me feel a bit drowsy just inhaling it in and i have put this on my pillow before love the scent the reason i don't want to be spraying this on my pillow is because it has skincare ingredients in now anything that's good for my skin i'm not going to be wasting it by spraying it onto my pillow it's quite an expensive one as well you can get a little try me 15 mil size for 18 pounds or the 100 mil size is 58 pounds this one is a little bit cheaper than the aromatherapy associates one in terms of milliliters but this is a skincare item as well nurturing and regenerative face mist with anti-aging snow algae to boost skin repair and longevity vogue says that almy has taken beauty sleep to the next level it does feel really luxurious really spa like this restorative face mist laden with rejuvenating botanicals to support natural healing sleep. The star ingredient is snow algae, which activates overnight collagen production and cellular repair to ward off signs of aging, while extracts of passionflower and valerian root help to relieve tension and essential oils of clary sage and linden quiet the mind and soothe away the day's stress. Rose quartz and rock rose imbue warmth and provide comfort the perfect bedtime ritual it is really really nice it's obviously got that valerian um root in there which is you know potent natural sleep aid which is probably why i'm feeling a little bit drowsy it says due to the high concentration of essential oils shake well before each use Close your eyes, spray liberally onto face, neck and pillow. Breathe deeply, allowing the soothing oils to appease the senses and relieve tension as well as induce sleep. So this is vegan, plant-based, palm-free, PETA certified, cruelty-free, GMO-free and it has sustainable packaging. This is glass. So again, this this is gorgeous. It feels really, really high quality. It is really high quality. And because it's got those skincare ingredients in it, I am not going to be wasting it spraying it on my pillow when it's going to increase collagen production. So although you can use on your pillow, this one is going to be going strictly on the face and neck. But I can still get those benefits of that um, valerian and rose fragrance to help me as part of my bedtime ritual. And the third one I want to show you today, was anyone in any doubt? It is the iconic This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. They have a couple of versions, but this one is by far my favorite scent. This is the one that every night I spray upon my pillow. Oh, it's bliss. It's lavender, but it's not grandma's lavender. It's just absolutely stunning. So we use this at bedtime to fall asleep more quickly and improve sleep quality. It is expertly blended with essential oils of lavender, vetiver and wild chamomile. It's so delicate, but so delicious. And it really does, it conjures up sleep and comfort and bouginess. Wake up looking and feeling refreshed. The best beauty secret there is. Sleep is one of the best beauty secrets there is. And it does a lot of good for the rest of our body and mind as well. 
So this one, we are just advised to spray on your pillow or bed cover before you sleep to promote rest and relaxation. So this is the only one that is not indicated for the skin, but I'm fine with that. I like to use dedicated body products on my skin anyway. I tend to, because I've got this big bottle <laughs> for 250 milliliters, I tend to spray it all over the pillow, all over the bedding. It is my little bedtime ritual. And because I've got the big size, this is actually the most affordable sleep mist that I'm going to discuss. I understand that none of the ones I've mentioned so far are particularly purse friendly. Marks and Spencers do one, it's called Ragdale Spa Sleep Mist. I don't like that one, so I haven't included it. It smells okay, but the smell leaves quickly, so I'm not going to recommend anything just for the sake of it. If you do know any affordable pillow mists that are really, really good, please link them down below in the comments, because I love an affordable product as long as it works. So this comes in a variety of sizes, but I buy the 250 milliliters, it's 35 pounds. It has a four and a half star rating from 2,609 reviews on the This Works website. They did a study with their panel on it. 89% of panel users fell asleep faster than usual and 98% felt more refreshed in the morning. Who knows if that's the placebo effect? It may well be, but it works for me. I think part of it is just that ritual of taking the time to make an action that is almost a cue for your body to get into sleepy mode. However, we know lavender, we know chamomile, they are relaxing. I think they do help us get to sleep a little bit faster. I'm certainly conditioned to want this anyway. So yeah, if you don't want to pay £35 out every few months, this does last a long time, but maybe don't get yourself into the habit of having a bougie sleep mist because you'll definitely miss it when you don't use it. That's the only problem. They also advise giving your PJs a light spritz too, which I might try. Everyone loves it on the website. People say it is good value, which it, it is compared to the smaller sizes when you buy this size. People rate it. I hear people rave about this stuff. I am one of them. I love this product and this would definitely be my most recommended sleep mist. So there we have it. These are the three sleep mists in my collection. I want to know now from you guys, do you use a pillow mist at night? If so, please tell me which one you use down below in the comments. I'm really interested. Or do you think it's just a gimmick and you just get to sleep? as soon as your head hits the pillow, like my boyfriend does, who I am very jealous of. I need that bedtime routine, that bedtime ritual, and I really like to incorporate a pillow spray in that. It makes me happy. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for being with me, guys, and I will catch you all on the next video.